everybody, this is me and welcome back to another video. Today, I've got a lot of cleaning to do because we're going into autumn now, it's soon going to be winter and I always feel like autumn and spring are the best times to do like a big tidy up and a big clean up, especially um, in my tack room. I thought I'd do a little bit of a tack room makeover. I've put some extra things in there since I've last seen you guys. I've also got some things that I need to tidy. I have a whole sort of mess corner that I need to completely reorganize. Also, we have the um, rug storage as well. And obviously going into winter, I'm going to be using rugs on the horses a little bit more. That needs a bit of a reorganization. And I know that you guys find my cleaning videos and reorganization videos really satisfying so let's go i don't really want to show you in here because it's a little bit messy i have given it a bit of a tidy up but it, there's still it's it's not, not not looking its best for the tack room the first plan of action is getting rid of all the dust that's on the floor so i have quite a lot of things that are kind of on the floor so i think i'm gonna have to kind of take everything up get it out of the way i have some boxes i might need to remove them and get them out of the way i have some boots on the floor that should probably go off on the little boot shelves so yeah i'm just gonna have like a little bit of a reorganization move around and then i'm gonna do a lot of sweeping Oh my goodness, I am so happy that I've finally tidied those cardboard boxes underneath the work surface. Basically, everything that doesn't really have a home or when I'm in a rush and I quickly need to tidy, it would go in those cardboard boxes. So I had things in there that I forgot that I completely had. It was one of those things where I'm kind of like, oh, I'll just chuck it in there. That's future Esme's problem. Today I am future Esme. It is my problem. I finally tidied it. So it feels really good that everything's a little bit more organized. However, it is still very grimy in here like the floor's dusty i was gonna dust everywhere but then i thought if i'm gonna be sweeping the floor the dust is all gonna go in the air and then everything's gonna get dusty again so i'm gonna actually take a few things out of the tack room just to get it nice and clean so i'm gonna take out my tack cart also my sort of chair thing that i have because i can see right now there is a lot of dust and goodness knows what underneath there and um, i've had this tack room for about a year now and so that's pretty wild that is mind-blowing actually i feel like it was more later autumn that i completed it but still you know anyway time to get sweeping and time to remove some of the dust that's in here beep 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 the tack cart is now outside i've got to say it's also a little bit dusty so i might take all of my boots out of here and give that a little bit of a clean but the tack room seems so empty now i've taken this out and once i've taken the bench out as well oh my goodness i part of me doesn't want to see what's under the bench because i bet there's going to be some like really old treats that have accidentally rolled underneath there it's not going to be good oh my goodness look at all that hair and hay and dust that is actually gross do you reckon i can carry it like this Whoop. oh look at that there we go shuffle shuffle to me to you to me to you so I've decided to grab a dustpan and brush because then I can kind of get under this. I don't particularly want to take my um, big helmet stand thingy my bob out because that is very heavy and I think it's in two different sections. So that's just not the job for today. However, oh my gosh, there's a bit of glass here where I accidentally dropped a light bulb. There we go, found that. Um, found some treats, got a feather here. I don't know why there's so much hair under here. Like my excuse is that when I'm sitting on my chair, I normally have like muddy boots on and obviously bits of mud come off, but where is all the hair from? Anyway, um, I thought I'd have a little sweep under here. I found a few treats and stuff, but because it is so dirty, I am just gonna have to use a dustpan and brush for this area because I feel like if I sweep it out, all this dust is just gonna go up into the air and get everything dusty. So, sweeping away my little dustpan and brush. Ah! That went in my face! Do you know what I should use? 
eyes on this, my like little steam clean cleanery thingy. That'd be so fun. Cool. All right, I'll let that air out a bit. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe how dirty the floor is. It's one of those things that sort of gradually builds up with grime and then you look at it and you're like, the floor is just brown. I can't see the gray paint anymore. Also, I almost, I think I've pretty much destroyed the current mop. All the little strings were slowly coming off because the ground is quite rough. Also, that was more difficult because it has like little bumps and things that the dirt gets in. And um, in the end, I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna chuck loads of water on the floor because that's the only way I'm gonna get this clean. But let's look at the current um, situation of the water because it looks a little bit like chocolate milk. It is so brown. Oh my goodness. Actually, it looks a bit more like gravy, but that is just, oh my gosh, look at that. Well, that dirt at the bottom, that is disgusting. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have to wash this bucket out because this is my mum's and she is not gonna be happy. <laughs> Sorry, mum. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. I did it, I didn't fall. That is actually heavier than you think. It's more because it's bulky. I can't really wrap my arms around it very well. But anyway, I popped the seat back in. Now I've mopped the floor because the next thing I need to do is take all my helmets down. It doesn't look that dusty, but in between them where there are little gaps, it's absolutely filthy. So I finally need, oh my gosh, I'm about out of breath just from carrying that. Gosh, I need to f fix out my fitness. Anyway. <laughs> The next thing I'm gonna do is dust all of the helmets. And yeah, I brought that back in because then I can put my helmets on there and rather than on the floor. side of my tack room is looking nice and tidy and clean. That's the side I've just done, which has all the helmets on. When the other end still has a lot of mess, especially on the work surface, I've got all my boots still there. Thought we'd go on to the middle now, because that seems less of a big task. Um, we have my gentleman's wardrobe, as you guys know. Um, I think this is Edwardian. I got it from the charity shop, if you guys watched my um, tack room renovation series. We have a lot of things on top of here that need to go inside. Inside needs to have a little bit of a tidy up, so I thought that would be the next thing I'm going to organise. We're now on the homeward stretch. I'm just giving my boots a little bit of a wipe down before I put them away. Most of them are clean, but some of them just need a little bit of a tidy up. And then um, I actually have my steam cleaner. I'm gonna steam clean the mat that I have, and I feel like that is gonna be so satisfying. So I'll see you guys when I'm doing that. 
Now, the good thing about this rug is that it's kind of mud colored anyway. However, I feel like there's gonna be a huge difference when I use this. Don't know if anybody else is like this, but I love watching these sort of satisfying short videos. Um, so let's go. I'm gonna do half of it and then you can kind of see the clean side versus the dirty side because I feel like that's gonna look really cool. So time for the noisy noise. <laughs> If I thought the tacrum floor was dirty, that looks more like chocolate milk or even like an iced coffee. Oh my gosh, it's all, it's the bubbles at the bottom. I was like, why does it, why is it frothy? Why is it like cream? Anyway, I've only done like a quarter of the rug and that is how dirty it is. So I'll see you guys when the rug is clean because I actually have an idea of how to reorganize my saddle pads. As you guys know, I have a lot of saddle pads. I am very, very grateful to be a sponsored rider for Lemur, so they send me a lot of things. Um, so I never actually thought the day would come where my saddle pad rack is starting to overflow. Well, I did think it would come because I actually have the sneaky secret compartment down here. Now, I can't remember if I showed this to you guys in the stable renovation series, but underneath here, I have another pole. I actually have, a, have my extra hangers hanging up here at the moment. Oh, that's a bit dusty. I might need to give that a bit of a clean. Um, so I'm gonna move these um, treat bins out of the way. And I thought, you know what? I was deciding, mm, do I put my dressage or saddle pads down here or my competition ones I think I might actually put my dressage ones under here because I don't actually know how many dressage ones I have it's kind of like they're all in rainbow order so I kind of go out by rainbow order knowing which one I'm gonna go for but I thought you know what I'll put my dressage ones under here and we'll see how it goes so I'm just gonna shove this out the way I also have some more stuff on the side here that I need to move. Um, I have some towels, which I need to find a place for. Some extra hangers. Here are the picture frames. I can't remember if I talked about this in the beginning of the video or not, because this cleaning process has been very long, but I have some really cute picture frames here that I bought ages ago. I thrifted them. And I thought, you know what? It'd be really nice to have black and white photos or just really nice photos, like headshots of all the horses. Now, obviously I only had three horses when I um, bought this. I only have three. So I was thinking maybe I can Photoshop Mickey and Duke into the same photo and make it landscape rather than oh my goodness I'm dropping everything I don't actually know what this is for is this from the picture frame I've just snapped it in half anyway um that's the future as me to think about uh, I also need to put the feed away as well we actually had Bailey's come here last week so this has kind of just been shoved into the corner so I need to put these away in the feed bin but now it's time to try and pick out all of my dressage saddle pads. I also feel like it'll look more organized because I feel like some of the dressage ones come out a little bit more compared to the CC shape or close contact. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be a process. I'm gonna just sweep this bit quickly because I didn't take the bins out when I did my mopping. There we go. Oh, oh this is gonna look cool. It's gonna look groovy.
the tack room is now complete and look how tidy it's looking. Oh my goodness, this, it makes my, makes my heart very happy <laughs> because it's just been so messy for so long. I've had such a busy summer. Everything, pretty much this side of the work surface, just, it gets piled up with stuff and now the stuff is gone and it looks so nice. Also, I do have actually a surprisingly good amount of room left here for more saddle pads. Maybe a very special saddle pad coming soon. Anyway, um, just look how pretty it looks. Um, I don't know what to say after that because I'm very bad at giving hints about exciting things. But I think the last thing I need to do is put the uh, little tack trunk back in here and then I think we're pretty much done. Beep, 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 beep. You know what? I've always had it facing this way, but I might put it this way. I feel like it makes the tack room feel a bit bigger. Is that just me? I feel like I've got more space to move about. Oh, it does mean actually if I move that forward, then I can walk here without getting hit in the face of the saddle pad. All right, the tack room is now complete. Unfortunately today, I didn't have enough time to clean the rug room. Maybe I'll do that in a vlog coming up. Um, so here we have all the saddles, my bridles, my girths. We have the beautiful helmets behind me. I thought I'd just do a quick little tour because you guys have already seen a tour in the Stable Renovation series, but it's a little bit different now after all the cleaning today. We have my fancy mirror. Cameraman is definitely gonna be in some shots because I decided, you know what, my tack room, I want to have three different mirrors in it. So um, we have my new helmets, all along my little chest of drawers. Um, in here I have gloves, then we have hat silks, ear bonnets, and boots at the bottom. Felt very good to put all my boots finally in there, or like boots as in horse boots rather than human boots because human boots we have beautifully up in the little wine boxes. Um, then I have some more down here. Um, up here I still need to uh, put my rosettes away because uh, I do have some room on my pin board. I managed to salvage quite a few rosettes from when I was a kid, when I was with like Casper and Mickey. Some of them did get a bit mouldy so I had to throw a few away. So that was a bit sad. Um, so that's kind of what I have left. I've tried to make it in sort of a rainbow pattern but now I have some new ones. I'll probably have to move all these along because I've I've been getting a lot of blue rosettes lately which is quite nice. Um, then we have the sink area. At the moment I have some fake flowers in the hole where this, the tap's supposed to go because I still haven't managed to find a plumber. All of my plumbers have been ghosting me. It's been very sad. I also want to find like a pretty little vase. I also want to find a pretty little vase to put these flowers in but at the moment they're kind of just in a hole. But since I've last talked to you guys about my tack room, um, I can pour water down the sink. I just don't have a tap to get the water from. So I kind of have to carry around my little bucket <laughs> when I do my tap cleaning. I also have this really nice um, little pole here that I have a, uh, a towel hanging on because it covers all the mess that's behind it. However, we don't have mess there anymore, which is good. I do still have the steam cleaner there though because I need to do a little bit more on the rug because we run out of time. But look at this. Look at all this work surface with nothing on. It feels good. And then we have the dressage saddle pads down here, which I actually, I'm surprised of how many cut different, I almost have every color of the, I, actually, I pretty much do have every color of the rainbow. Maybe I don't have like a blue, but apart from that, I mean, I've just lost count of how many saddle pads I have now. I know I counted them the other day, but I think I've been given some more since then. So um, yeah, this, this is a lot. No human being should have this many saddle pads. I don't know how this happened, but it happened. I need to shut up shop again. And then lastly, we have all of my head collars, which I've rolled up all of the lead ropes, so they look really pretty. I've tried to put them sort of in color order. So we have the warmer colors at the top, and then we have the cooler, sort of more blues and purples at the bottom. But yeah, that is pretty much the tack room complete. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching the tour. Lastly, I just want to say I am very, very grateful to all the brands that I work with, and for you guys for watching my videos, because you are the reason I am able to have a tack room this nice. Younger Esme never in her wildest dreams thought she'd have this many saddle pads or that many helmets. So I know that um, I do have quite a few and that is not normal, but um, it's just kind of, I don't know how this happened, but here we are. 
Thank you so much everybody for watching today's video. If you'd like to see some more cleaning videos or vlogs, let me know in the comments below what I should sort of do some cleaning of next. Probably the rug room because that really does need doing. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.